Hello, you, the viewer. It is I, Zeke. This time holding a steak. And as you can probably see, I've done a couple of things since the last video. <laughs> so one of the things that you might first notice, I'm still in a tent, right? I found this cat. I went to the starter town within the server. And on my way back, I encountered a witch's hut and in the witch's hut i i found a witch and i found a cat and i fought the witch and in the process she threw a a, a poison bottle uh, and it hit me and it hit the cat i killed the witch and i sat there just waiting for the cat to die because i thought surely the cat would die and i didn't know that i would be able to tame it so it survived and i felt bad <laughs> about just seeing the cat sitting there so I, I found string and made a fishing pole, got fish, and it took, I think, like seven fish for this cat to, to finally um, be my friend, I guess. And now he's here, and I'm now confirming it's a boy just because for fun. But I haven't figured out a name for him yet. Anyways, I planted some some wheat. I don't know if that was from the last episode or not. Uh, this crafting enchanting table. Uh, some other little uh, workstations. I also have cleared out quite a bit of trees. That's right, I remember now. The trees. So the map here shows how it looked before and I've been waiting to record to show this. Wow. <laughs> That's, wow, that's, look at all those trees. Almost a circle. Anyways, the reason I decided to record today was because it is currently raining. I'm not too sure if you'll be able to hear it. Again, I did some tests, and I didn't hear it myself. Yada, yada, yada. I made this little mine post here. A little mining area. I plan to make it more grand and just make it look a, a lot nicer once uh once i have more more buildings set around the three places uh, i've also found a cow and i found some sheep it was two sheep but you know more sheep let me throw a picture up on the screen <laughs> uh this is the map this is what i'm going to be naming the three places, uh, starting down at the bottom with Shukan, 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 perhaps that is the correct pronunciation, I'm not too sure, all of these translations and pronunciations I got from Google Translate, so if any native speakers see this, uh, don't roast me too hard, this was just the easiest way I could write it down, and it looks really cool, I think it's very nice. And then in the top left, we have Kansia, Kansia, Kansia. We <laughs> something similar to that. I'm not listening to the pronunciations right now, but I remember it sounding very, um, very sh sounding at the end. And on the top right, we have Kizoku, Kizoku, Kiz Ki Kizoku. Yeah, I'm kind of doing Duolingo right now. <laughs> that's not a joke by the way i do have a streak of duolingo i i don't think i've learned all too much but it's fun to recognize some answers what else i think that's pretty much it as far as new things so on the map you could uh you could see that they were uh, all of the names of the islands uh were colored and i plan to have that color scheme throughout all of them currently we are on we are on the island uh shukan shukan something similar to that effect and uh the color for that one is is red the flag that i've made for my for myself is is just a white banner with a yellow dot because i think the simpler a flag the better which is funny because I tend to not agree with most minimalistic art, 
but for flags i think it's perfect i think an over <laughs> i mean having a having a landscape for a flag is kind of silly right so what am i doing right now i guess i am i was pretty lucky getting fortune i mean it's just one but <laughs> compared to not having a fortune pick i don't really have the island planned out much further than the color schemes of the islands oh i also got a wolf he's up there he is i should probably mention this i have so the cat whose name i haven't decided yet once i get a name tag it, i will put it and everyone will know i have decided to put animals as the sort of theme centerpieces leaders <laughs> of each individual island and so for this one for the island we're currently in in shukan it's going to have this cat and for kizoku for kizoku we're going to be having the wolf over there similarly unnamed and for the last one kansha will probably have to find another animal for it. I don't want to do a cow or a, a sheep because I feel like that's too simple of an animal. So that's that's the start of that. And then I'll go ahead and I really thought I'd be able to drag out the conversation <laughs> a little bit more, but I guess now is a good as time as any. So here it goes. Oh my gosh, what is this? <laughs> This is the question jar section. <laughs> uh, this this little section I'm going to introduce is is what it says. It's a question jar, and so what that means is that I will be getting a question, probably a couple of questions, and be answering those while we build. Let me just <laughs> get some red flowers, and I will get to the question section i apologize now we have some red wool going for the theme of this place and this will eventually get taken down and everything will be rearranged at some point jump back to me uh, getting a question so the first question of this new series within the videos will be let's hope it's a good one i okay so the question is if you could bring back one TV show that was canceled, which one would you bring back? That is a very good question. When I first initially thought of this question, my answer would have been The Office. Uh, I, I really enjoyed the show. Even when Michael Scott left, I still think it was a good show. I still thought it was a good show. But at least that show kind of had a had an ending i guess it ended in a way that didn't leave too much hurt in your soul so my actual choice for this is is a show that i recently somewhat recently have seen and that is Anne with an e well if you haven't seen it i highly recommend you see it it's on netflix i think it's still on netflix i'm not too sure i haven't really checked hopefully it's on there it's about a redheaded orphan in Canada, I believe, is where the story takes place. She's a very interesting character. She talks very poetically in a way that I struggle to do. I think it's a fun character trope that I, I really haven't seen, or I can't really think of right now. The series ended, I think, abruptly. I don't think it was able to be renewed for a new season, so the writer had to tie everything together very hastily in what felt like one episode and i just think that's a shame i think the series could have kept going had it not been for the abrupt stop if you've seen it i'm sure you'll agree that it it, it deserved <laughs> it deserved more respect for this section for this island it'll be it'll be asian themed to the best of my interpretation because i think it's a very peaceful style I don't know if I talked about it in the last video about not wanting to do this sort of style, but <laughs> what are you going to do? That's kind of the interpretation of this one specific mining area. 
Japanese, Chinese. I'm not too sure what the correct one would be. I think they share a lot of similarities because they sort of adopted a lot of things from one another. So they they look similar. They're not the same, but they look similar enough. So I guess what's the first thing I should do? Should I perhaps make a home for myself? No. <laughs> I mean, I didn't, I would have put the plaza here, but I don't want to put a plaza in front of a mine. I think that's not a good construction plan. Let's say this was a real plaza. You wouldn't want to hear a bunch of people breaking rock while you're just trying to uh, vibe, I guess. So let me try and find a different spot for the plaza to be in. So I found this neat little area or I cleared out this little area here so that I can make a plaza. So I mentioned it was raining. And it rained here pretty early in the morning. It's currently 8.30 at the time of recording. And you might be thinking, oh my gosh, you're so productive so early in the morning. And that isn't, <laughs> that isn't by complete intent. I'm not really a morning person. I don't think I would be able to to wake up this early. So the only reason that I'm up at this time is because my sleep schedule is pretty pretty messed up at the moment. Um for the past couple or for the past two nights I I haven't been able to sleep normally. I try to sleep. I close <laughs> I, I, I close my eyes and I try and go to sleep, but I'll just lay there for a while not able to go to sleep i've i guess i've just for whatever reason i've just felt really stressed or very like anxious uh, i mean there's no real real reason for me to be nervous or anxious about anything i just for whatever reason i i, I can't go to sleep my shoulder has been hurting recently as well i think from how much time i've spent on the computer editing the past or recording and editing the past two videos. The first one that I did uh, really took a long time. It was like an hour. And so like I have this pain in my shoulder and in my neck. I don't know. I, I just I haven't been sleeping well. And with the rain, uh, it was it was nice. It's, it's always nice hearing rain. That's what motivated me to make content today to make another video. And so I apologize if I sound a little dead. I mean, that's just my tone of voice usually anyways. Very monotone. I think, I don't know if other people get randomly anxious about, I guess, sleep. I don't know. I get nervous. I get nervous about laying there and going to sleep. I just feel so like I have to move or something. And it's not like I'm a hyperactive person. Very much a, a couch potato. <laughs> I don't know if people still use that term. And I, I don't think I've ever had issues uh, sleeping. I think I was a pretty good sleeper. You know, I go to sleep and it's very, and I'm out for the rest of the night. But not this time, I guess. Not 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 these past couple of nights. I don't know what's up with that. I, I used to not be able to dream all too much. I think growing up, I rarely had dreams. I've dreamed more in the past couple of, or I guess within the, the the past week more than usual so that's cool i don't know what it takes for people to have dreams and uh, i don't know what exactly caused me to start dreaming again <laughs> but it's happened so this is the main town here at some point i do want to get villagers here so many people in the server have netherite gear and uh, all this other cool stuff they have all these books people talking about how many emeralds they have and i've done very little <laughs> in this in this server and that's not from not wanting to i mean i definitely want to play the game but i want to space out things for me to to have on camera maybe i'm spacing it out, spacing it out a little bit too much i feel as though i should have more things by now or at least a home i feel very ill-equipped compared to everybody else i don't want this to be very edgy looking <laughs> i don't want my buildings to look as though i'm trying to be something else by keeping the color schemes dark 
with the the dark tones and the red just scream of trying to be tough i guess and that's not what i'm going for i'm just limited in, <laughs> in the resources that i have is all so i guess this is going to be a house i don't think i'm going to have a lot of big grand builds i'm not going to be having these giant buildings but i think a way for me to compensate for that is to have a lot of buildings <laughs> you know quality over quantity kind of thing <laughs> I guess what I'm going for is is kind of like a a village, but just an upgraded village, so that it's it's uh, interesting to look at. Speaking of sleeping and dreaming, or there are people that get sleep paralysis. For those who might not know what it is, I'd be surprised. <laughs> it's such an interesting thing. Essentially, sleep paralysis is when a person is asleep obviously and they kind of wake up but they don't they wake up but they're not able to move their their bodies so no matter how hard they want to move they're you know they're, they're just not able to i'm not too sure what the scientific aspect of it is i don't know exactly why it happens or what's causing causing your brain to do what it does and if that wasn't bad enough of not being able to move your body even though you're awake but your brain lays these tricks on you where it just at the very corner of your eye you see something you you kind of see something that it that isn't there so something scary a lot of people see shadow figures or like just a dark figure standing in the corner just barely out of eye view but they feel it Oh, and another thing of sleep paralysis is that some people experience like a weight on their chest and it's a very like crushing thing for some people to the point where they can't really breathe all too well. So that's really scary. <laughs> I couldn't imagine. I couldn't imagine going to sleep and feeling this this weight on my chest and thinking that something's right in the room with me and not being able to do anything about it. That's such like a scary time. <laughs> I don't know if they would enjoy or appreciate you <laughs> you going up to a person with sleep paralysis and saying, well, just don't think about it. <laughs> you know, it's like, the, it's like the depressed people thing where it's like, well, just don't be sad. <laughs> if only it were that easy. Let's look and see what other question we can get from the question jar. Oh, the question is, what anime do you like? What anime do I like? Very good question by me. Thank you, thank you. Well, I, I, I guess I should say that I don't really watch too much anime. <laughs> I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan, don't get me wrong. But I, I just don't really like watching anime in the sense that it takes too long for an episode. So I much prefer reading it. So I, I, I enjoy reading manga over watching specific anime. But, I mean, growing up, I, I saw a few anime, the classic mainstream ones, right? Like Dragon Ball Z, Naruto. Well, those are the ones that I liked. I saw SAO, I believe, as well. That one was good. <laughs> uh, oh, actually, recently I saw Grim Gar of Fantasy and Ash. Because of because of like the Sword Art Online genre or the stuck in a game world. Oh oh my gosh! How could I forget? Um, an anime that I really like is Sailor Moon. <laughs> it has such a great art style. <laughs> I really enjoy the art style to Sailor Moon. I think it's I think it's I think it's like the peak <laughs> i mean obviously it, it it suffers from from something what, what is it called uh same face syndrome i think it's what it's referred to online uh and that's true but it's such a nice art style the backgrounds are just the like top tier anything i've ever seen like they're just they're they're some of the best landscapes backgrounds that i've ever seen for an anime 
I enjoy it quite a bit. Uh, and then the best part to me is <laughs> is is the music, the music, the soundtrack. I, I'm usually not a big music person. I, I don't really pay all too much attention to it. But the Sailor Moon music is just some of the best anime music ever. <laughs> it's something that I listen to uh, sometimes. Or it's something I would listen to when when creating or when when painting uh big paintings for my class i would play a bunch of Sarah, uh a, a bunch of the sailor moon music because it was just so catchy and it was so uplifting and just a fun time <laughs> it's just a good time um so if you haven't seen sailor moon i really recommend it the story plot of it is kind of kind of like for for kids in the sense that it it shows like a a villain, a conflict, and then it shows a it has a conflict and is resolved by the end of the episode. I haven't seen the ending myself. I haven't gone through the entire series because I'm I I pace it out because I don't want to like just binge all of it in one go and then not have anything to kind of look forward to. <laughs> um, but I've seen the ending on on YouTube. It's it's something. It, it's something i'll leave it at that just in case you <laughs> just in case you go see it uh you should you should give the show a, a try i genuinely think you should if you're ever going to listen to me about anything at all this is the one thing <laughs> this is it this is what you should listen to me on something that i think is really cool uh going back to the topic of just just anime i think it's pretty cool that that it's it's becoming uh, more mainstream i enjoy a good amount of youtube content <laughs> as well and i i've seen some some people talk about how how they would kind of get bullied and and looked down upon because of their their liking of anime where i grew up uh, surprisingly enough, people are everybody just kind of liked Dragon Ball Z, and so it really wasn't that that bad, I guess, of me liking anime. And by the time I was watching it, uh, I had a group of friends that would also watch anime, so I mean, it was it was it was nice. I didn't really have that that issue or that struggle, but I know that other people did. So I think that's really cool of people becoming more accepting <laughs> of what they watch because why wouldn't you <laughs> it's something that something that should be fun i made this building into a house but just now i'm thinking that i probably should have made them into shops instead if you have any suggestions for the cat's name let me know i was thinking of something like fergus but i think <laughs> now that i have the island name it just doesn't fit for for the cat to be called fergus but I just think for, I just think that's such a funny name for a cat. I think for for the in between of the episodes, I'm gonna have to go find a bunch of skeletons so I can get a bunch of uh, white dye from them. Because I I kind of want to make concrete for the houses, so instead of having spruce, having white white concrete, I think it'll I think those are a nice pairing. So I might end up doing that. Oh, we'll do a little U-shaped shop, kind of like a mall. Oh, yeah, that'll be cool. A little U-shaped one. It's probably the best idea I've had. Let's grab question number three. Drum roll. I'm not going to put it in, but imagine it. Oh, that's funny. Okay, the question is, what's my opinion on modern art? I think it's garbage. <laughs> I mean, I mean, obviously, I, I, I can't speak for, I can't speak for all of the modern art, but from what I've seen, I am not a fan. I've seen an art museum where, or I've seen an art exhibit of crushed cars, which I mean, kind of sounds like it would be interesting, but it wasn't shaped into anything. It wasn't made to be uh, a collection of a bunch of things. If that makes sense. What I mean by that is that it wasn't... All of the pieces together weren't made with the intent of being something. I can't think of any good modern art that I've seen. I mean, I'm, I'm sure I must have seen something and been like, oh, okay. <laughs> I feel as though it's it's the easiest 
art that you can make in the sense that you can if you're good with making any sort of bs explanation then your modern art will sell it's easier to give it intent with minimal effort but it's harder to pull off successfully in my eyes i am much more a fan of traditional art i i just personally enjoy traditional art but it's also it also has its own flaws in the sense that traditional art is replaceable with a camera like something like the mona lisa the mona lisa would be much much less impressive with the fact that that you would be able to have a thousand Mona Lisas and not just the one. It just depreciates the value of the the singular painting when you're able to have a lot of pictures of, of the same thing. I mean, that's what the point of Renaissance art is, I believe. If you know a better answer, I'm sorry. I took art history. I just wasn't the most attentive student, but... Uh, I believe the, the, the point of Renaissance art was the perfecting of art, I believe. So, so I mean, their anatomy was really good. Uh, their shading, their color, all of that perspective. They just kind of, <laughs> they kind of finished the whole pursuit of replication. And I said that it was my favorite art. Um, but that, that doesn't mean it's the only art that I enjoy. If you like any of the art that I've talked about or any of the, the styles of it, then that's great. You shouldn't let me persuade you to not like art or not like a specific type of art just because I don't personally uh, enjoy it as much. If you enjoy it, that's great. That's all that should matter to you. Well, I'm kind of stuck right now. I want to have multiple little shops here, so probably like two here. So one, two, and then three, four, five. So five little shops in this little area, and I think it'll be pretty cool. I'm going to do little beams across, and I, I took some of the walls down for this build here. I might expand it to the sides later, so it's kind of like an open kind of little shaded area within the plaza. Uh, I'll have plenty of space to build more houses on the island. There's so much space, so I mean, that should be okay. I'm going to build a little tower, I think. There's a, when I looked up plazas or Asian plazas, there's this big tower that they have. Uh, I'll probably have to look into what it is or what it's for, and I'll make one here. I mean, I can't really do much right now, so I found, oh, so, okay, so for the that island over there, the, the other island that doesn't have a mascot yet, the uh, Kizoku Island, I found a rabbit somewhere over there. I'm not too sure where exactly, but so I know that, that rabbits spawn over there. I don't know if I should have it be a rabbit because I've also seen foxes spawn here. I'm not too sure which animal I would want for that third island because it's cat, wolf, and something over there. I feel like a fox probably fits because it's similar to a cat and a wolf than a, a rabbit. But I'm, I don't know. For those wondering what the names are, you'll just have to look it up. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to say. I don't want to say them in person, or I don't want to say them in the video, because I think it's kind of. It makes me feel embarrassed. I think Japanese words sound really cool, and it's something that I've done as like a kid when naming Pokemon. I would just find words that I thought sound sounded cool, so. If you care about what the islands or why they're called the way that they are, you can look it up. I'm not going to explain it, <laughs> but it is part of the lore of this place. So if you care about the lore, go ahead. But if you don't, that's fine too. So with that, I will do the last special question. Woo, last special question of the day. The last special question of the day is... When was the last time you felt most yourself? Isn't that a profound question? I mean, that one's kind of hard to answer. I, f I feel as though, as though my personality hasn't really changed a lot. I, I think that I've stayed pretty much the same since, since, uh, I guess early high school. I think I've, I've, I've stayed similar. I don't really know. When was the last time I truly felt the most like myself? 
I mean, what you're seeing now is what any other person that I will meet in person will see in the sense that I am the same way on videos that I am in real life. Probably more bold, I guess. I'm no extrovert by any means, and I, I don't really go up to people, random strangers, and strike up conversations. But being in a video is a little easier. <laughs> I'm still nervous about it, obviously. I'm, I'm, I'm still not the most courageous in front of the mic, but my personality is still the same as if I were to be talking to a close friend. And I guess it's it's a good thing to kind of ask yourself the question that I just got from the, the jar, I think is a good question to ask yourself every once in a while to kind of encourage yourself to be a little more retrospective so that you can see where you are, where you're going, what you're doing. Because it's so easy to get lost in a in a day-to-day -day basis because of doing the same thing over and over again. That you don't really take the time to take a step back and reflect. Self-care is important. Truly is important. You should take care of yourselves mentally and physically. And emotionally? Spiritually? Oh, I'm not too sure which is the best category for that, but you understand what I mean. If you have any questions that you would like me to answer or discuss about, it doesn't have to be anything it doesn't have to be too deep of a question. It could be something silly or something. Just something that you would want to talk about or hear another person's opinion about. You can go ahead and leave it in the comment uh, in the comment section and I will check occasionally <laughs> and and uh, and write any questions that I think would be fun to respond to. And if I haven't already written it down and placed in the all-knowing question jar. And with that, I think that's going to be it. That's the end of episode three. Again, not too much. But I hope you guys like the, uh, the new question jar section. Oh, and did I forget to mention? I won the build competition. You can say I'm kind of epic. <laughs> Alright, bye everybody. I'll see you in the next one.